Hi guys, so I want to do another read. This is on um, the rapper Cash Doll. She, um, I guess I've seen on the internet to where she was had some dealings with Rihanna. Um, and I feel like people are trying to make it a big deal and say that her and Rihanna had words. But when, from my view of the clips, it didn't look like it was, you know, oh, her finger pointed in her face and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like that's just, you know, some some people that doesn't mean that that's fighting words. Some people just talk like that or, or handle themselves accordingly in that way. When I talk, I, you know, roll my eyes. People are like, oh, why you do that? I mean, it's just some, some people can't help that that's the way that they express themselves when they're trying to get a point across. Um, and that's what I feel like is happening. But let's see how Cash Doll feels about Rihanna. Let's clear this up. How does Cash Doll feel about Rihanna? How does Cash Doll feel about Rihanna? And as a matter of fact, let you guys know I do like Cash Doll. I think Cash Doll is dope. I like Rihanna as well. Alright, so we have the Knight of Cups. So this is like offering something or communicating. Um, so I feel like there's, there is some like type of conversation. Hmm. I feel like they're going to get back up. Okay, I feel like Cash Doll feels like Rihanna is queen of pentacles. So this is um, a business woman, business, you know what I'm saying, a business type woman, a kept woman, a woman that's, by her, that's on top of her game, okay? The challenge is the nine of swords. So this is, you know, like worried a little bit. She want to make some type of move here with this. Uh, she want to take some type of action with this Nine of Cups and this King of Wands here. This King of Wands is fire energy. Um, but this is definitely something that you're passionate about. This is moving, getting things moving, okay? So, I feel like something about future plans did not go... Because it didn't go as planned. We have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Or somebody wasn't prepared. She was feeling um, unprepared. Or um, something. some plans did not um, go as they were expected to go. So I feel like there's going to be a next time around here. With this Six of Cups and the Temperance cards. It's like, okay, next time we're going to balance this out. We're going to figure this out. Right, and I feel like she's just wanting to, you know, stay strong, stay in the game, and she's she's looking for looking ahead. I don't, I me personally, I don't feel as if, um, like everybody's trying to blow it up and say Cash Doll was running up on Riri. I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like this was something possibly business oriented or something about a verbal agreement or something here. Um, that didn't go as planned. But I feel like there is going to be a, a second time around. Why is the Nine of Swords here? It's the Nine of Swords here. Alright. She's worried on whether or not there's going to be a second chance here with this judgment card. If she's going to have another chance to speak to her. If she was going to have another chance to talk to her about what moves that she wanted to make possibly with Rihanna. I'm not sure if Rihanna is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, or a water sign. But we got this Queen of Cups here. Um, I feel like there is going to be a second chance coming around to the near future to work things out. I feel like they're going to whatever this business or whatever this plan was that was supposed to happen... Um, that possibly didn't go through properly, I feel like there's going to be a second chance for it to come back around for them to figure out how to work things out. Alright, so that's my feelings about this Cash Doll and Rihanna situation. Um, y'all make sure you comment below and let me know what y'all think, okay? Alright guys, ciao for now.